Coming up on a high school quiz show, we have Thayer Academy. <laughs> The new Drive with Safety mobile app was designed with your teen driver's safety in mind. The Drive with Safety app helps monitor and reduce distracted driving behaviors. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. This is the place where planets collide where the world is taking notice, where 28,000 brilliant young minds from 65 countries call home. UMass Amherst, this is the place. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host, and today's matchup is the second of our quarterfinal rounds. We are down to the final eight teams. The competition is intense. And today we've got Brookline High School, who, by the way, defeated Needham High School, taking on Thayer Academy from Braintree, Massachusetts. They defeated Hingham High School to move on to these quarterfinals. On the Brookline team, we have Guy, Emma, Bradley, and Gabe with alternate Oscar and coach Adam Free. <laughs> and for the Thayer Academy team, we have Drew, Charlotte, Austin, and Garner with alternate Giovanni and Anna and coach Jameson Smith. <laughs> The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we will start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So, teams, if you're ready, good luck to all of you, and uh, here we go. The sun is a hot ball of plasma made up mostly of what chemical element? Charlotte? Hydrogen. Yes. The Standells' 1965 hit song, Dirty Water, immortalizes what river that flows through 23 Massachusetts cities and towns? Yes, Austin. The Charles River? Yes. Who recently released Turtles All the Way Down, the much-anticipated follow-up to his 2012 novel, The Fault in Our Stars? Yes, Charlotte. John Green. Yes. Prior to becoming Ronald Reagan's vice president, George H.W. Bush served as the director of what U.S. intelligence agency? Emma. The CIA. Yes. Take a look at your screens. In one of the most famous unsolved mysteries of all time, Amelia Earhart, pictured here, disappeared during a flight around the world in what year? Yes, Guy. 1936. No, you want to try it there, Austin? 1929? No, 1937. After graduating from university in 1900, who was turned down for every academic position he applied to, but later won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921? Drew. Albert Einstein? Yes, in 1927. What legendary New York Yankee known as the Sultan of Swat hit his 60th home run of the season, a record that would stand for 34 years. Drew. Babe Ruth. Yes. Chinese strategist Sun Tzu is traditionally credited as the author of what book that is the earliest known military treatise? Yes, Austin. The Art of War. Yes, when President Trump tweeted last July that transgender members of the military could no longer serve, he caught the Pentagon off guard, including what Secretary of Defense? Yes, Guy. Mattis. Yes. And now take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm Greg Keston, theoretical physicist and host of What the Physics. Here's my question. Often described as the theory of everything, 
In the 1970s, what name was given to the theory that all objects in the universe are composed of vibrating filaments and membranes? Yes, Charlotte. String theory. That is correct. The USS Constitution earned its nickname Old Ironsides after an epic battle with the HMS Guerrier during what war? Boston. The War of 1812. Yes, the semi-independent states of Jersey, Guernsey, Alderney, and Sark are located off the coast of Normandy and France. They're collectively known as what islands? Yes, Guy. Channel Islands. Yes. Uh, the myocardium is the muscle tissue of what organ in the human body? Yes, yeah, Charlotte. Heart. Yes. Uh, the energy given off by stars comes from which of the following processes? Is it A, radioactive decay, B, nuclear fusion, or C, quantum tunneling? Yes, Gabe. B. Yes, nuclear fusion. Math question. In square inches, what is the area of a trapezoid with a height of 8 inches and bases of 4 and 6 inches? Yes, Austin. 40. 40 is correct. What national policy took effect in the United States in 1920 with passage of the Volstead Act? Guy? Prohibition. Yes, in 1985. What musical duo formed by George Michael and Andrew Ridgely made history as the first Western band to perform in China? Yes, Guy. Wham. Yes, what Charles Dickens novel features a clever pickpocket known as the Artful Dodger? Yes, Emma? Oliver Twist. Yes, in his theory of forms, what Greek philosopher argued that the physical world is not actually the real world, but that true reality exists somewhere beyond our universe? Yes, Austin. Aristotle. No, Brookline, you want to try it? Guy? Plato. Plato is right. Uh, the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund were established at the Bretton Woods Conference in 1944 in what U.S. state? Yes, Austin. New Hampshire. Yes. Uh, the word calumny means which of the following? Is it A, glee, B, poverty, or C, slander? Yes, Gabe. C. Slander is right. Invaded over the centuries by Sweden, Prussia, Russia, and Germany. What capital city of Poland is known for its indestructibility? Yes, Austin. Warsaw. Yes. And uh, who received more than 20 rejection letters for Dune before it became one of the best-selling science fiction novels of all time? Yes, Gabe. Smith. No, Thayer, you want to try it? Yes, Drew. Asimov. No, Frank Herbert is the answer. Uh, benzene is an important compound in organic chemistry. It consists of a ring of how many carbon atoms? Yes, Guy? Six. Six is right. Math question. A fruit stand has 20 lemons, 7 oranges, and 15 limes. A customer walks by and randomly selects a fruit. In lowest terms, what is the probability that it is an orange? Yes, Austin. 10 over 21. No, Brookline, you want to try it? Bradley. One sixth. One sixth or one and six is correct. Uh, the Rhine begins in Switzerland and flows northward to end in what country? Yes, Guy. Netherlands. Yes. Uh, what English romantic poet famously wrote about daffodils in I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud? Yeah, Charlotte. Wordsworth. Yes, established during the Han Dynasty, what network of trade routes linked China to Asia Minor and India? Yes, Austin. Uh, Silk Road. Yes. In 1987, who became the first person to receive a Best Actress Oscar nomination for a purely science fiction film, Alien? Yes, Gabe. Uh, uh, Thayer, you want to try it? Yes, Austin. Ridley Scott. No, Sigourney Weaver is the answer. And a bill creating America's first national park, Yellowstone, was signed into law in 1872 by what U.S. president? Yes, Guy. Uh, Roosevelt. No, Thayer, you want to try it? Garner. Chester Arthur. No, Ulysses S. Grant. Uh, meaning middle life, what fossil era occurred between the Paleozoic and Cenozoic eras? Yes, Drew. Mesozoic? Yes, in 2017, Madison Ferris became... Oh, that's the bell that will end this, the first round. The score right now, Brookline High School, 120 points. Thayer Academy, 150 points. This is a very close round.
The head to head round is uh, coming up next, but we're going to take a little breather here. It's what we do on the high school quiz show teams. I've got a question. Each of you, you know the drill. We'll answer it in your own way. And we're going to start over here with Brookline High School and you guy. What is the one book you think everyone younger than you should read and why? I think the Very Hungry Caterpillar, because I think really on the inside, aren't we all just hungry caterpillars? Okay, Emma? Um, I think Little Women, because it's a great example of how classic literature can translate beautifully into modern society. All right, and Bradley? I would say To Kill a Mockingbird, because I think it teaches people to develop empathy for multiple characters. All right, and Gabe? Uh, I would recommend Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein, just because I read that when I was younger, and I love all the poems in it. And uh, over to Thayer we go, and you, Drew? I would say Unbroken because it shows a good example of resiliency in the mm -hmm. face of danger. Yeah, great movie too. Charlotte? Honestly, I would say the one book you know that you're going to hate because you need to build up endurance in life. <laughs> I'll say, well, you needed it for this show, right? <laughs> Austin, how about you? I would say Green Eggs and Ham because it's just a fantastic book. I love it. And Garner? Um, when I was younger, I liked The Hobbit because it had lots of fantasy and adventure. So if you're into that stuff, you should read it. All right. There's some advice from the teams right there. So here's what's going to happen. You're all going to come forward, and you're all going to go head to head. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. We're about to go head to head. And uh, I've got Thayer Academy here on my left, Brookline High School here on my right. Gentlemen, let's shake hands and start friendly if we can. As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck, teams. Here we go. In 1935, Ethiopia was invaded by what fascist? Yes. Italy. No, Benito Mussolini. Uh, William Shakespeare had a 12.5% stake in what theater that opened? Yes. Globe Theater. Yes. Approximately 60% of the world's population lives in what continent? Yes. Asia. Yes. In humans, what is the only internal organ capable of regenerating lost tissue? Yes. Liver. Yes. For nearly all of the Civil War, what city was the capital of the Confederacy? Yes. Richmond. Yes. In 2017, Pantone announced love symbol number two, a new shade of purple honoring what late pop icon? Yes. Prince. Prince is right. Uh, what two digits make up the binary system used? Yes. Zero and one. Yes. Uh, what panther is a friend and mentor to the man cub Mowgli in the Jungle Book? Yes. Hello. No, Bajira. In 1963, President Lyndon Johnson appointed what commission to investigate the Kennedy assassination? The Warren Commission. Name the capital city of Afghanistan. Kabul. Yes. Uh, what amendment to the U.S. Constitution officially abolished slavery? 14th. No, 13th. Uh, the mouth of the Nile River lies in what country? Yes. Egypt. Yes. In Norse mythology, who was the goddess of love and fertility? Yes. Freya. Yes. And that ends the round. The score right now. <laughs> Brookline High School, 180 points. Bayer Academy, 150 points. Let's hear it, everybody. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Latin Quarter, Carry That Weight, The Big Short, The Great War, The Truth Is Out There, and I, Robot. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We're going to have to get your answer. Thayer Academy, just a little ground to make up, so you do get to choose the first category, and what's it going to be? iRobot, please. iRobot. Questions about fictional robots, and for 10 points, in what he called the ultimate framing device, George Lucas recently revealed that the entire Star Wars story is actually being narrated by what small whistle-talking robot? Yes, Drew. R2-D2? That is correct. You've got the board there. Category. We'll stick with it. 
uh, iRobot this time for 15 points. In an animated film of the same name, what robot spends his days tidying up the earth one piece of trash at a time? Yes, Bradley. Wally. Yes, and now you've got the board Brookline. What's it going to be? Category. The Great War. Okay, the Great War. Questions about World War One. And for 10 points, which of the following countries remained neutral throughout the war? Was it A, Japan, B, Spain, or C, Greece? Yes, Emma? Spain. Spain is correct. You've got the board Brookline. Category. The Great War. For 15 points, World War I was triggered when Archduke Francis Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, was assassinated on June 28, 1914, in what city? Yes, Garner. Belgrade. No, Brookline, you want to try it, Emma? Sarajevo. Correct, and you've got the board Brookline. Category? The Great War. For 20 points, fought between July and November of 1916 in France, what battle of attrition left more than 1.5 million dead and came to symbolize the futility of war? <laughs> yes, Gabe? Verdell. No, Thayer Academy, you want to try it? <laughs> the Battle of the Somme is the answer, and uh, Brookline, you've still got the board. Category? The Great War. For 25 points, World War I officially ended on June 28, 1919, when a peace treaty was signed in what famous hall at the Palace of Versailles? Yes, Charlotte. Hall of Mirrors. Yes, and now you've got the board Thayer Academy. The Great War, please. Uh, 30 points at stake here. As First Lord of the Admiralty, Winston Churchill was blamed for planning the failed invasion of Gallipoli, a seaport town in what country? Yes, Emma? Turkey. Turkey is right. And now, Brookline, you've got the board. You'll need a new category, though. The truth is out there. The truth is out there. Questions about recent best-selling nonfiction. For 10 points, Trevor Noah's memoir, Born a Crime, describes his childhood growing up under apartheid. In what country? Yes, Austin. South Africa. Yes, and now Thayer Academy, you get the board. Category? We'll stick with it. For 15 points, the truth is out there. Here it is. What host of the TV series Cosmos, a space-time odyssey, is also the author of the book Astrophysics for People in a Hurry? Yes, Garner. Neil deGrasse Tyson. That is correct. You've still got the board there. Category? We'll stick with it, please. The truth is out there for 20 points. Now a major motion picture. What book by Margot Lee Shetterly is the untold story of the black women mathematicians who helped America go to space? Yes, Emma. Hidden figures. That is correct. Brookline High School, you've got the board. Category? The truth is out there. For 25 points, widely cited as key to understanding Trump's victory. What memoir by J.D. Vance describes the struggle of the white working class in Appalachia? Yes, Bradley. Fire and Flames. No, Thayer Academy, you want to try it? <laughs> Hillbilly Elegy is the answer. And you've still got the board Brookline category. Carry that weight. Carry that weight questions about measurement. And for 10 points, how many pints are in one gallon? <laughs> yes, Guy. Eight. Eight is right. You've got the board category. Carry that weight. For 15 points, which of the following measurements is the longest? A mile, a hectometer, or a kilometer? Yes, Emma. A mile. A mile is right. You've got the board Brookline. Carry that weight. 20 points in cubic units. What is the volume of a triangular prism with a base area of 63 square units and a height of 10 units? Yes, Austin. 630. That is correct. You've got the board there. Category? Uh, the truth is out there, please. OK, and this time, 30 points. Uh, what former editor of Time magazine is best known for his uh, biographies of Benjamin Franklin, Steve Jobs, and most recently, Leonardo da Vinci? <laughs> Walter Isaacson is the answer. And Thayer, you still have the board category? Uh, carry that weight. Carry that weight for 25 points. A jar contains 48 servings of peanut butter, each weighing two ounces. What is the total weight of the peanut butter in pounds? Yes, Drew. Eight pounds. No, Brookline High, try. Yes, Gabe. Six. Six pounds is right. And now, Brookline High, you've got the board. Category? Uh, the Big Short. The Big Short questions about acronyms and for 10 points. Established in 1949, the Military Alliance in NATO is an acronym that stands for what? Yes, Austin. North Atlantic Treaty Organization. That is right. You've got the board Thayer Academy. Category? Uh, carry that weight, please. 30 points. A propeller makes a thousand revolutions per minute. How many degrees does it rotate in one second? Uh, 
6,000 degrees, the answer. You've still got the board there. You'll need a category. iRobot, please. iRobot for 20 points. Implanted with an emotion chip to help them understand human behavior, uh, what android serves as second officer on Star Trek The Next Generation? Yes, Guy. Data. Yes. And Brookline High, you've got the board. Category? Uh, the big short. For 15 points. Residents who object to neighborhood developments they consider undesirable, such as prisons, might be labeled with what negative expression known as NIMBY? Yes, Charlotte. Not in my backyard. Yes, and well said, Charlotte. Uh, you've got the board there, category. Uh, iRobot, please. iRobot for 25 points. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. This famous quote is spoken by what sentient computer who becomes dangerously paranoid in the film 2001, A Space Odyssey. Yes, Austin. Hal? Yes, Hal 9000. You've got the board there. Category? iRobot, please. 30 points. What talking Trans Am car and semi-autonomous robot was David Hasselhoff's trusted sidekick in the TV series Knight Rider? Drew. Kip. I'm sorry? Kip. No, Brookline High, you want to try it? It's Kit with a T. And uh, you've still got the board. Thayer, category? Uh, the Big Short, please. Uh, the Big Short, 20 points. In 2017, the cast of Stranger Things uh, won a SAG Award for Best Ensemble in a TV Drama. What does SAG stand for? Yes, Gabe? Screen Actors Guild. Yes. And uh, Brookline, you've got the board. Category? The Big Short. 25 points. In the immortal words of Alec Baldwin in the film Glengarry Glen Ross, ABC stands for what aggressive sales technique? Yes, Gabe. Always be closing. Always be closing. Uh, Brookline, you've still got the board category? The big short. 30 points. In May 2017, the CBO reported that the American Health Care Act, also known as Trump Care, would leave 23 million more people uninsured. What does CBO stand for? Congressional Budget Office, the answer. And we've only got the final category, and it is Latin Quarter. Questions about Latin words and phrases. And for 10 points, Robert Herrick's famous line, gather ye rosebuds while ye may, expresses what two-word Latin sentiment commonly translated as seize the day. Yes, Garner. Carpe diem. Yes. Uh, Latin Quarter for 15 points. What Latin word meaning before the war describes the period of American history before the Civil War, especially in the South? Yes, Emma. Antebellum. Yes, Latin Quarter. Okay, that's the end of the category round. The score right now, Brookline High School, 355 points. Thayer Academy, 220 points. How about it, folks? <laughs> All right, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of game play, the lightning round. And uh, you will get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers teams will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck. And uh, here we go. In 1790, Thomas Jefferson and uh, Alexander Hamilton agreed to a new national capital along what East Coast River? Drew. The Potomac. Yes. Name the lightest of the noble gases. Austin. Helium. Yes. In her docuseries Aftermath, Leah Remini calls for an FBI investigation into what controversial religion? Gabe. Scientology. Yes. A bombardier named Yossarian is the protagonist of what 1961 novel? Yes, Charlotte. Um, um, Helium. Catch-22. Uh, Joan of Arc, Into the Fire is a new Broadway musical created by what founding member of the Talking Heads? David Byrne. Uh, what barbarian ruler who attacked the Roman Empire was known as the Scourge? Yes, Drew. Attila the Hun. Yes. In July 2017, what retired Marine general replaced Reince Priebus as White House Chief of Staff? Yes, Emma. Kelly. Yes. Aleppo is a key battleground city in Syria. the... Yes. Uh, what group of three muscles in the back of your thigh work together to bend the leg at the knee? Austin. Quadriceps. 
No, the hamstring. What U.S. city has a brand new NHL team called the Golden Knights? Yes, Las Vegas. Yes, what U.S. state has the longest border with Mexico? Austin. Texas. Yes, what does the F stand for in the name F. Scott Fitzgerald? Yes, Drew. Francis. Yes, what Egyptian president was murdered in 1981? Ooh. That ends the game. The winner this week, Brookline High School with 395 points. Runner-up, Thayer Academy with 320 points. Uh, great job by both teams, really. Congratulations, guys. Now, Brookline High School will move on to play in the semifinals, so be sure you're tuned in. We'll see you all back here next week on High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. There are hundreds of dangerous intersections out there. Fortunately, there are even more independent insurance agents who work with Safety Insurance, helping to ensure you're covered no matter where you drive. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. Museum of Science. A production of WGBH.